today's video, we're going to be going over Ravnica Remastered. This is Cody and... Kyle. Yeah, so we're the Badgers, and I managed to get my hands on this draft set booster for... Um, not set booster, but like draft booster box, basically. Unopened, and we're going to give it a go. I did not pay... Uh, what it's going rate is, which is the, the only reason why I picked this up. As many of you know, these are crashing pretty hard, and I paid way under price for this because I have a killer discount. Um, still, but though. still, well, we're happy to get a bunch of shock lands and uh, add them to the collection. We already had one of every shock land, but yeah, I just if we nice. if it was two hundred dollars, which is what it's going for, it's between two hundred and like it's going for one eighty to two twenty on yeah. the high end, and my work is selling them for two ten, and I know that some places are getting it as low as one eighty. I played under that, if it gives you an idea, um, I wouldn't have paid more than. I wouldn't have paid that much for this. I don't think it would have been worth it. I don't think it would have been worth it. This would have been the set I normally would have skipped. Yeah, but I thought it'd be fun to open, and I had a killer discount again, so we're going to get cracking on this. So ignore my darning needle. It's just what I have on hand. <laughs> we're going to crack this open. No box toppers in this set. There are no box toppers in this set, which is such a bummer. And it is a complete reprint set, so it's just it reprints of the Dominaria. Granted, there are... I'm actually really excited. I want to get... Obviously, Shocklands would be nice. Those are just kind of nice to have around and have... Uh, if you're in your deck building or anything like that, we have them all, so like we're not super worried about yeah, it. But it we was have still, one of every. It'd still be nice to have. Shock. Um, I want some of the anime cards. That would be. Cool. I think that that would be wicked cool. And I would be happy to get some of the alternate arts of like um, Deathrite Shaman or something. That'd yeah, be kinda cool. that'd be wicked cool. So we're going. Oh, this is gonna be annoying. I'm not gonna do that. We're gonna do the scissor method. We're gonna do the scissor method. Method. Just be careful. I know. I, that's why I'm holding it that way. I'm gonna make everybody anxious watching this. Uh -huh. Oh, look at him. He's so cute. Uh, right. Signet. Totally lost. Stitch in time is our. Our rare. Our rare. I'm gonna right. hand that off to you. I don't think it's Rakdos. Dead. To the Deathless, Woobringer. Yeah. All right, station time. We're getting three seventy four. That's an three dollars and seventy four cents. Okay, I'll take that. Faith. Oh, that's cool. Quench. Huh. Master Zeal. Yeah, station time. Ooh, is, vampire. Uh, an extra turn spell. Yeah, for three CMC, you flip a coin. If you win the flip, you take an extra turn after this one. That's kind of interesting. Actually. I have a vampire. When he enters the battlefield, a target player reveals cards from the top of their library until they reveal land card, then puts those cards into their graveyard. Hmm. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. And that's it for pack one. All right. I'm going to try to actually hold it in a way that makes it so that... It's visible. Oh. Gate. Not Gate. a shock. I got excited. <laughs> I know. Zombie cat. I kind of love that. The dread Malkin. I've heard of some packs actually oh. having three shocks yeah. in one pack, which is crazy. Connive and concoct. No, it's that one. Oh, let's take a peek. It's a double. Demolish. Fist of Ironwood. Mm, doesn't go for much. 39 cents. <laughs> Fair Sounds enough. Oh, calling of the Oracle. Snake Elf Druid. Yeah, that's a lot. And then our little buddy there. So we're going to put all of the ones that are kind of meh over there. Our rares are going to go here. And hopefully that doesn't go flying everywhere. I kind of want to get one of those little things for that. There we go. Worm. Signet. <gasps> Infernal Tutor. We got a tutor. Okay. Infernal Tutor. I don't know. Not I haven't familiar. heard of that one. What does he do? He goes for a dollar eighty-five. We'll take it. Yeah. Farseek. I'll take a Farseek. Yeah, those aren't bad. Nope. Let's go in a lot of decks. Goes for a dollar thirty-five. I'll take a Farseek. Whisper Ancient. Ah, uh, so this is for standard, because you reveal a card in your hand, search your library for a card with the same name as that card, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle. Rat. Oh, but then it's got Hellbent. 
if you have no cards in hand, instead search your library for a card and put it into your hand, then shuffle. So if you have no cards in hand after casting this, They're a little slick. you can just use it as a normal tutor. Interesting. They're a little slick. They want to go sideways. That's kind of cool. Yeah, are we those keeping those? Those both actually go for a little bit. Yeah, so we're going to keep those set aside for monies. Actually, let's keep the ones that are worth over a dollar in a separate pile. I did. No, oh, that okay. That one's just the rare. Okay, I gotcha. Yeah, why not? Oh, and we got Rectos Guildgate. Nah. What is Illusionist Bracers? Oh, that goes for a little bit. We already own one, but oh. heck, we'll take another one. 247. Yeah, weird. And this is a retro frame. So that, I like the retro frames better, to be honest. All work. Debtor's Transport. Instant Burning Tree. Okay. Call me weird, but I... I prefer older cards versus newer ones. Yeah, well, I think it's the nostalgia factor for you. You yeah. very much uh, started in on it when you were younger. Oh, okay, that one didn't want to come with. Okay, well, it might be out of order, unfortunately. <laughs> Sapperling. Simic Guide Gates. Lesnia Guild Gate. Ah, all the gates. Tide Spout. Oh, that's an anime one, isn't oh, it? Yeah, I think anime so. Anime Jin. Tide okay. Spout Tyrant. What's you? What's he going for? If you can tell. It's a Lesnia. Elf Shaman. She is adorable. And I love her. It's not going to show up because it's, yeah, it's too new, probably. Oh, yeah, no. It doesn't want to scan. He's probably Snake Elf drew it again. Now, here's the question with Ravnica. Do we give it its own binder? We're crazy with how we, and by we, I mean mostly me, um organize the magic cards we do it by binder i'm gonna put a little thing up here um we do it by binder <laughs> numerically in things and it's like a lot so i'm debating whether okay. or not i want to make a small one for these so yeah, for tide them. spout tyrant anime borderless we're mm -hmm. looking at a dollar 91 <laughs> that's a hit heck yeah hey dollar dollar's a dollar simic signet vindictive vampire Whenever another creature you control dies, Vindictive Vampire deals one damage to each opponent, and you gain a life. Ooh. Actually, it's, I want to set him aside. There are some commons and uncommons yeah. that, go, that are pretty good. We already did Illusionist Bracers. Didn't okay. we already get him? Yeah, we did. Oh. This is um the non-retro The non-retro frame. frame. What's the... So our vampy boy only goes for 39, but still... Still, that... I'm going to set him aside, because yeah, he's kind of cool. He's going to go on the Edgar sideboard, probably. Most likely. Demon Soldier, Instant Quench. All right, so the regular Illusionist Bracers, four fifty-three. Four dollars and fifty-three cents. Yeah. Heck yeah! Why is that one more? Apparently, the the retro oh. goes for a lot less. Why? That's weird, but I'll take it. We'll take it, Goblin. Yeah. Weird. Squirrel signet. We have yet to come across a shock land. That's shocking. Yeah, I know. I was hearing like, oh, yeah. Yeah, most people are getting about, you know. Like 15 of freaking box. Yeah. They're all on the bottom, maybe. I don't know. Gruel we'll signet. See. Ultimate. Or maybe Price. we've been lied to. And we the, maybe. The shock lands are rarer than we think, and they're not going to tank so hard in the market. <laughs> What's this one going for? Stab wound. Drunk Twiller, Condemn, right. so for Clown, Replicate, Rose, and Deputy, Skewer. Reduplicate? <laughs> or are you going to say that? <laughs> There's Replicate and rep repudiate. Repudiate. Rep no, Repudiate. There repudiate. we go. There needs to be a U <laughs> in there. There needs to be a U. $1.34. Not We've bad. We've got an inheritance. That's not terrible. Hey. So we're going in the hit. That's actually not bad. That's pretty good in a Simic deck. Hey. Goblin! Oh, I like him. Haste. Haste Goblin. Another gate. Another gate. Oops, sorry. Oh, what is that? Skull crack. It's got the secret layer. Yeah, it's got the symbol. Oh, check Here, it out. check on that one out. Why not? It's charmed. Crypt Ghast. Was this the card that we saw on that channel? What was the YouTuber that was talking about the Michael Jordan one? Oh, yeah, yeah. Was that a Crypt cast? I want to say it was like the... It could have been. Yeah, there was like a an alpha printing of... Nah, was it Crypt cast? I don't know. I don't know, something... But it was that... It was cool that there was like a 
card grading company that someone sent in uh, Cryptgast or some other creature to have graded because it was like an alpha or beta card and it accidentally got graded and swapped with a basketball card. <laughs> and so the title, you know, when you when you get the card graded, and they got the guy, it's in a case, yeah. and it, it the case title said what the basketball card was. Michael and, Jordan. And then, of course, down the line, people bought it and left it in the case, and then someone sent it to the artist to yeah. have them, and the artist signed it and put a little jersey on the guy on the outside of the card <laughs> for with the protective case. Yeah, that's still really <laughs> funny though. Yeah. So what's a skull crack worth? Uh, let's Is see. It, worth it looks like it's a remastered, not Ravnica remastered, uh, retro frame. Only goes for eighty five cents, but it's kind of yeah, cool. Still, it's kind of cool, and it's foil too. Yeah. What's the crypt gas go for? Uh, let's see here. Really? What's it oh, go wait, for? Wait, wait. No, it's got the wrong set. It's saying gate crash, which this is not this gate is not crash. Gate crash. This is Ravnica remastered. It is not the retro frame. It is eight forty five. That's Hello. a big hit. All right. So if the Crypt Gast was a big, big hit, we're gonna put him in a little uh something, something. We're gonna put him in a little yeah little guy, and we're gonna put that right there. Also gonna steal these ones that were worth something so that they can actually and go be with that camera. one. Okay. So now we just opened up another one, and we got a goblin, Demir Gate. Pariah's Shield. Oh, that one's cool. That one's cool again. I wanted to have one of those in the collection. Gate, Colossus, Utopia. They're not worth much, but uh, <laughs> they're, they're really cool. Oh, I like the art on this one. Have you seen the Footlight Fiend art? Look at that. He's just got a little candle on his head. Oh, I don't yeah. know why. I think that's like adorable. Oh, but also, shield. I wonder if I could put that in my colorless deck. Maybe. The what? one that you've just been messing around with all oh, day. Oh, a lot. <laughs> yeah. Skewers, Taste for Mayhem, Ill-Gotten. We got a lot of Ill-Gotten Inheritance over here. Burning Tree Vandal. There we go. I'm saying I'm take care of my yeah, as we go. pile of stuff. <laughs> Spirit. Is it Signet? We're going to get lots of Signets out of this. Ooh. Wasteland Viper. Absorial. Can a lot of these doubles? What do they call them when they're they're both like this? There's a name for it. If you know yeah. what it is, let us know down below. Civic Saber, Skullcrack, Angelic. Still love that art. That's a freaky looking guy. Boros. Sinister. Fifty cents. Mm, lame. He's a bat. Oh, I like him. Look at the blind hunter. He's a little bat dude. Yep. Disembowel. I don't think that's having a good time. He's not. What is going on? I feel like we haven't gotten any of the Shocklands. Yeah. Mm. This is weird. So this one wasn't worth anything? No. Just probably not very desirable. Yeah, that's all. fair. Alright, let's do it. Oh, oh. Interstepped. Nah. A frog. Ooh, what are, you? what are you? Anime art. Why does he look like the dude from uh, Free Run? A little uh -huh. bit. He kind of does. Well, I mean, it is anime art. <laughs> I'm just saying. Like the red hair and the black hair. See huh. what she's, what's he worth? So what is this? Domari Another Raid? Stage is that how you say it? Anime Borderless. Aww. Oh. So 92 cool, cents. That's almost almost the dollar. Almost worth a dollar. You know Still what? Cool he's looking. close enough. We'll, we'll, we'll put that in the. He's he's in the cool the pile. pile. No, he goes in the cool pile. That's what these ones are. You can be cool because you're worth money, or just cool because you're anime. That's my view. Fair enough. Zombie. That's a cool looking zombie. Demir, Murmuring, hmm? Void Slime. Let's take a peek at that. Counter target spell, activated ability, or triggered ability. Ah, but it's three CMC, but it does any of those, so it's pretty modal. Ah, 46 cents. Still, yeah. though, that's yeah. pretty nifty. Kind of. We're oh, about a third of the way through. 
I see why it's probably less desirable though, because that's a lot of pips for colors. Yeah, that, that makes it, it kind is. of hard to cast unless you're in a. So we're putting that in deck. the just the rare, but not worth. We're about a third of the way through. What are we at now for value total? Uh, currently we're at twenty six dollars fifty six cents. Yikes! Oh my god, this is awful. So far, and we haven't even seen a single shock. We haven't seen a shock either, Angel. Oh, tapped. No. Tap land. There we go. A overgrown Speak tomb. I'll take an overgrown tomb. Okay. Hell yeah. Ooh. All right. This is retro frame overgrown tomb. Really? $19.51. For now. For now. For now. We'll see what how much the market to. crashes when everybody opens their stuff. It only came out yesterday. But hey, we'll take it. I'd say that deserves a sleeve. Ooh, Cobb Hobbler rats. Look at them, they're little fancy hats. Almost looks like it's like, um, like, like glass paintings. You know what I mean? Like window paintings? Oh, yeah, the stained glass. Stained glass. Stained glass, that's the word I was looking for. So we got one overgrown tomb so far, and we're almost <laughs> halfway through the de this thing. Oh, my goodness. Hey, if, at least we got my favorite shock win. Yeah, I'm that's a true. You are such a Golgari bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. really are. Elf, tap land. Oh, no, it's not. Nope, enters tap land. The mirror guild gate, though. Tap that's kind of cool. Oh, and a gate. Yeah, but I like its... Kind of retro look. Ooh. Oh, really? We'll take a card. Yeah. That could go in your colorless deck, right? Uh, okay, so this is four CMC Karn, the one that uh, hates on artifacts. But you could put that in your colorless. I, I could. But if you, you're like, I might not on. want to. It's $5.29. We'll take so it. A good hit. Okay. I'm actually going to set that aside. We were talking all that crap picks. about uh, how this was sucking and... Now there we, we go. Now we got some hits. Bird illusion. Because God knows we need another one of those tokens. Petromander. Ghostway. What's that one? Ghostway, huh? Golgari Thug. Wormweaver. Hey! Lightning. Ghostway goes for $2.95. Exile each creature you control. Return those cards to the battlefield under their owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. So it's a, like a phase out. Mm. You know, you're just going <laughs> to evade a board wipe or something. The very last one was the exact same on both of them for the last two packs. I don't know why I said this so slowly, but it did. Yeah, that's a good hit. Mm -hmm. We'll take it. Sapperling. Kulgari Signet. Muddle the Mixture. Ooh, I like that. <gasps> Yay! We got a brew yeah. bag. Muddle oh. the Mixture. Yeah, but we got a brew yeah. bag. That's one of the chase cards. I'll Heck take yeah. that. Uh, I want to say this is one of the few commons and uncommons that go for a little bit. Because it does see play in a lot of decks. Yep, $2.21. Yay. Now look up Bruvac. All right, let's see what you're going for, Bruvac. Because mm -hmm. he's a, a mono blue commander that a lot of people Yeah, a lot of people chase him. Golgari guild mage. Oh, wow. I did not think Bruvac was that. I told you. Okay, so Bruvac, we're looking at $33.13. Ooh, get him in. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's saying for the list version. Yeah. Hold on. Hold I knew on. he goes for a lot in other sets, so I don't know if he still uh, is going for a lot, but like... So this is Ravnica Remastered, not anime, not retro, regular. Yeah, twenty four forty nine. Still money. Still pretty good. All right, let's get him in a... Uh... Sadly, my scanning app will sometimes just decide it's from a random different set. And you're like, buddy, no. <laughs> it's like, nope, these are all let's Ravnica Remastered. In that. All right. Yeah, I think we're gonna probably in a binder of this, honestly. Elf Knight, Azorius Guildgate. Oop! Oh, come on, buddy. No, it's a tap land still. Huh. I see the double and I get so excited. What's Dreadbore? That one looks messed up. Hmm. What are these two? This is also a draft set, too, so a lot of people yeah. are going to be, you know, happy to see these, like, two CMC removal spells for standard and whatnot. 
Yeah, people are going to be actually, you know, drafting this. Yeah. And keep in mind, this is Which going to be the... honestly is probably the best way to even play with this <laughs> set. And this is going to be the last draft in set, uh, right? It's going to be turning into play next set. Oh, uh, play boxes. Play instead boxes of draft instead boxes. of draft. You can still yeah. draft with them, but like yeah. it's not going to be called draft box. It's gonna, and you're not yeah. going to have a set box. It's just going to be play boxes, where you have the number of draft and the value of set. So that's kind of nice. What was dread Uh, fifty cents or something. Lame. Thrill kill. Logic. Ooh, uh, that last guy. Him? Yes, he sees play in some mono black decks like Curic, I believe. Oh. Let's double check him. Okay. Because he's kind of a tutor for three for huh. his ability from... Sold. Ah, only 65 cents. But uh, Still, do you want to set him aside? The collection. Yeah. You want to set him aside like in the... Aside. Okay, I'll put him with my vampire. Because so we've that been you wanting can... to brew a mono black deck. We do. We want a rat deck, we, too. And we do own Curic, so maybe, maybe that's... Maybe we should just make him. Do it. It's compulsive research. Oh, Borborigmos. Oh, how do you pronounce it? Borborigmos? <laughs> Borborigmos? Rigmos. Borborigmos. That's how I would say that. And is this the one that used to see play? But yes, it is. Yeah, you discard lands and you get to pretty much merc somebody. He is not worth very much, though. 44 cents. But, uh... Yeah, I want to say I watched a, an, some old video of a pro tour way back in the day, and people would literally win games with him. Do you want to set him aside or put him up? Uh, sure, um, set him aside. Actually, he's cool. yeah, he's with He's a cool piece of history. Huh. There was even a whole spiel about uh, rules being changed because of that card. Um. They had some kind of artifact that would uh, completely negate the abilities of a card that you named, and the opponent played that card named Borborygmos, but he meant this card. However, there's another Borborygmos card that just says Borborygmos and not Enraged. Uh... So he asked the judge and the judge was like, oh, well, he named just regular Borborygmos. Therefore, yeah, no, we're going to let you use his ability and win. So they changed the rules now where... If you name a card due to, you know, some rule having you name it, you can essentially say, oh, yeah, you know, this card and not even know the exact name of it. But as long as you and the opponent know, know what you're referring yeah. to, it will be that card. It's valid. Oof. It's all tricky. Yeah. So we got a beast, signet, tide spot tyrant. Oh, yep. Yeah. The is this an anime version or a I retro? Think. I think it's a retro. It's a retro. Can anime be in the retro frame? I don't think so. I don't think so. But four dollars seventy seven cents for the retro frame. Mm. So we'll put that in the hit pile. We are not getting those shock lands like I thought we would be. Yeah. <laughs> I was expecting so, to be so much uh, more. So I think hopefully that will. Yeah, I'm hearing people say, oh, yeah, you're going to get 18 to 23 shock Which is lands people being dramatic. And... They've got to be because, like, we're halfway yeah, through are, now. We are and... just the unluckiest buyers. Right. Tap land. Yeah. Oh, another one of him. He's yeah, cool. He's wicked cool. Assemble the Legion. I don't think that one goes for very much, sadly. No, I agree. 59 cents. Ooh, dog pile. You could put that in Ren and Siri. It's a little expensive, though. Can you? I don't think you have red, do you? I do. Oh, you it's, do? Uh, oh, that's right. It's, it's red, white, green? Red, white, green. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. I am excited. Speaking of Ren and Siri, they're doing a secret layer called Cats and Dogs. It's a hundred percent Ren and so, Siri. Was this a secret layer deck? Deck, yeah. They do that sometimes. That, where they, they make have? commander decks. Yeah, oh, they've I've done just it never before. seen one. Yeah, they've done them uh, quite a few actually. Oh. Um, I've only seen like the the six or if like four to eight. From cards. Cute to Brute, that was all a whole deck. That was a whole deck, wasn't it? Hmm. I want to say it was. So how much did those run? I think it's like hundred bucks. Oh, okay. yeah, but I'm. I, but it's a whole deck. It's a whole deck, and we already have a ton of stuff from my Ren and Siri deck, but I just can't get it together the way that I want to. And I find that pre cons help me a little bit, if, like assembling yeah. that and getting it all together. Um, so I might take some of the cards that I have that are really cute because I got all the cute versions of all the cats and stuff that are normally in a Ren and Siri deck. Combine it, and I might combine it. So we'll see. 
Sphinx and also see. Breeding pool. Oh. I'll take a breeding pool. Yeah. Hell yeah. For late fiend. Advisor. And we got another. $12.88. Oh. Okay. So not nearly as much as the no, other one. but, but it still needs still its. Still nice. Still. Still a much over a dollar. <laughs> yes. We have a breeding pool that I love from the Unfinity set. The only thing mm. that came out of that set that I liked, but it was very pretty. And sadly, our other dual face card, uh, Find and Finality, are is only $0.32. Cents. That goes there. I don't know how many more we have left. We're a little over halfway through, I want to say. And halfway I'm... through with only two shocks. I know. This is ridiculous. Worm. Tapland. Tapland. Boar God. He's mythic, too. He's cool looking. Yeah. Stalking Vengeance. Speaking of cool looking, look at that guy. Look at his face. Oh, he's the retro frame. Looks like something out of Berserk. Oh, yeah. Huh. All right, so I hug the raised boar. He's going for two fifty eight as the retro frame. Two dollars and fifty eight cents. Yep, that's not bad. He's cool. What are we at now for total? A uh, grand total of ninety nine dollars seventy eight cents for any cards that are worth more than a dollar. Dang. Okay. We still got a little bit to go too. So. Right. And feel free to comment down below if we miss any of the commons and uncommons that yeah, are absolutely, probably worth we're noting. obviously not experts in this. We're I, I never even played yeah. Magic when this set came out because as a teenager I was in and out of it. And sadly I didn't keep any of my old cards back then, but we'll never make that mistake again. <laughs> right. Priest of Forgotten Gods. Ooh, what, what are do you? you? Crocodile Frog, as you do. That is not the promo pack version of Priest of Forgotten. <laughs> Let's see, where are we? Incorrect. Yeah. Your scanner, man. Right there, $2.61. It's not bad. It's a lot of little hits that are adding up, which I don't mind. Would be nice if we got like a big, big hit. Hey, oh, Steam not. Vents. I'll take that. That's a pretty big hit. Also, that one is... Uh, $10.13 13 cents for Steam Vents. Ooh! The regular Hello, version. there's three rares in this one. Ooh, that's a good pack, then. Yeah, it's a lot. Can't. All right, for quasi applicate, uh, $1.07. Okay. That's a hit. Anything over a dollar is a hit. Yeah, just. So hold on. We're gonna grab the rest of these and count how many we have left. Uh, Sphinx's Revelation is a dollar sixty nine. But let me see well, what if I do. We have literally a third of them left right now. So we'll move the booster box there, and we're gonna move that there. There we go. Is it a little bit more for foil. Dollar seventeen for foil. Dollar seventeen. Yeah. Fair enough. So that counts technically as our hit pile. Centaur, Tapland, Tapland, Infernal Tutor. Again, we got one of those already, didn't we? Yeah. What were they? I think they were a little over a dollar. No, a good deal more than a dollar. It's a uh, four dollars and twenty-seven cents. Ooh, That's boy. Plant dog. Hmm. Greater moss dog. That could be Rin and Siri. I Maybe. don't know if it's worth it, but... Dredge three. If you would draw a card, mm. you may mill three cards instead. If you do, return this card from your graveyard to your hand. Yeah, good for yeah. graveyard recursion decks, which Rin and Siri is, is not. not. <laughs> We're on the final third of this draft box. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. We're going... Goblin. 
Yep. Hey, Temple Garden. Temple Garden. Ooh, hey, troll. We could put that in, in Rin and Siri. I could. I think we already have one in Rin and Siri. Oh, actually, we might. That's true. Yeah. Vindictive Vampire. Nine dollars four cents for Temple Garden. Actually, we'll take that. Yeah. Look, I got the fancy and the not fancy version of that. Wizard skeleton or a human droid. Cameron downsize summary. Kasman's blade juggler. Franco's command and elemental. Oh yeah, and we got Golgari grave troll. What do we got for him? That is not the right set. This is. See the retro frame? Yeah. So retro Golgari Grave Troll is two dollars and twenty-two cents. Not bad. Far Seek. That one was over a dollar, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. So look up the retro for Far Seek. I know that that one's and this one's the rare from that. Yeah, Far Seek. Not Time Sparrow. <laughs> Oh, this is retro frame, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So, 58 cents? Uh, I guess it's less than I thought. Whenever another black creature enters the battlefield under your control, target of creature games intimidate until end of turn. It can't be blocked except by an artifact creatures and or creatures that share a color with it. That's going to go in the Edgar sideboard, me thinks. Still, though, useful card. Put it to the side, maybe. For the far seek? Yeah. 58 cents? Not bad. Not bad. It's good for, like, you know, ramp, color fixing. Yeah. And Retrieval Sad. Revenge, 71 cents. Battle Tap Land. Ooh, we got a Nismivit. <gasps> Ooh, art. Let's go. Ooh, I don't know what that goes for. <laughs> Is he one of the, the yeah, cards that was on? Yeah, a lot of people want him. Yeah. Yeah, a bunch of people want him. I don't know how much he's worth, but. Okay. Ooh. Not very much. <laughs> <laughs> the Anime Borderless Niv Mizzet Perun. Three dollars sixty-four cents. So that's that the anime one. Yep, anime borderless. Ooh, okay, still three dollars. Three dollars. Yeah, I'll and then take you can it. go on our dragon deck, right? Oh, we didn't own a Niv Mizzet, so. Yeah, but also we want him for our dragon deck. That's true. Well, we are starting a dragon deck. Yeah, I think we're down to the final eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight left. Let's get some anime cards. Right. All right, Centaur, Tap, Tap land, gate. Spectacle, oh. oh. It's cold retro. Lazav. Lazav the Malfurious. How much are you, buddy? Buddy. A dollar twenty. Okay, my count. Oh, nope, that's from the list. Did it again. Oh. Uh, for Ravnica Remastered, is this a retro frame? I don't think it is. No, no. it's not. This is regular, 44 cents. Gross. Yikes. Alright. They need to stop sliding everywhere. Right. Sorry, that was a video. It's taking forever. It's because there's 36 of them. Yeah, it's a lot of packs. Enters tapped. Ooh. Ooh that's a nice. Blazing Archon. 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 Yeah, there's a whole creature type is Archons. Oh. Retro frame, Blazing Archon, only 33 cents. Only. Huh, that's surprising. He's a really cool white card. I mean, he's a lot of CMC for a 5-6, but he makes it so creatures can't attack you. Mm. He's cool. Put him in the cool pile. Put him in the cool pile? <laughs> yeah. He cool boy. Artifact. Top land. Ooh, Protein Hulk. We didn't own one in the collection. He's cool looking. Yeah, he's a combo piece that I like him. was around for a long time. Good, so we are getting some of the the cards from this set. The that we fun didn't ones. And of course, he's very shiny and does not want to scan. Does not want to scan. Nope. 
You just type them in. Yep, we're gonna have to. I know it's not your favorite thing in the world. But... <laughs> All right, let's see. Here's your ad manually. I need Protein Hulk, Ravnica Remastered, but I need Anime Borderless right there. So, for the Anime Borderless version, $3.74. It's not terrible. Yeah. Especially like since that. we didn't have one before, and he's kind yeah. of fun. All right. Dragon. Tapland. Aura. Krinko. Hey. Krinko Marpos. Krinko. That is not from Jumpstart. No. We do have a Krenko already, though. We do. For the Goblin deck, we will one day start. $2.43. Like, we have like 2,000 decks inside of our little coffee table. Oh, yeah. For the one day. Oh, someday I'll make this. One day we'll make this. Yeah, I don't think we're going to come even close to the... What is it the market price for these are going for? They're two... going for between 180 and like 220 on the high end from what I've seen. Uh, my work is selling them for 210 per box. So if you okay. pre-ordered it, that's what you would pay for it. Okay, so we're Again, about 40 bucks off of 180 Okay. We didn't pay 180 No. But so... Let's see if we get close to it. Yeah. Oh. Top hey. and Temple Garden again. No, Temple Garden. We'll but it's the retro here. frame to Temple Garden. Yeah. Which goes for $10.55. All right, we'll that, take it. That puts us a lot closer. Originally, we were thinking about just picking up like 20 packs and canceling my order because we were like hearing such horrible things. But then I realized what my discount was and I had a bunch of store credit already. So I was like, you know what? Let's do an entire box and see what happens. I there, think it'd be fun. There's some cards from this set that we don't have, didn't have like a Protein Hulk and Niv Mizzet. You know, yeah, I mean? thought it would be fun to open yeah. it at the very least. I like opening packs. But again, I wouldn't be opening these if I was... I, I would buy singles if I wanted those singles, if you get what I'm saying. I'm yeah. doing this because I think it's fun. If somebody needed the shock Boyd lands, slime, they could literally again. wait, like, what, um, three weeks from now? Yeah. And they'll be They'll be wicked cheap. cheap. Void Slime, $2.20. Yeah, we already got one earlier from the video. Counter target spell, activate ability or triggered ability. Pretty useful. Second from last. One. Spirit. Tap land. Skewer the critics. Plant Hydra. Eee, it's Audrey. <laughs> Zombie Shaman. He looks mad. Why does he look like a predator? Tell me that doesn't look like a predator. <laughs> yeah. Alien versus Predator. Yeah, kind of looks like Predator. So for our plan, plan Hydra, <laughs> it goes for a dollar and one cent. Phyto Hydra. Phyto Hydra, yeah. If damage would be dealt to you to her, uh, put that many plus one plus one counters on it instead. Oh. How much was it again? A uh, dollar and one cent. Dollar and one cent. Just a barely a hit. All right, last one. Come on. Oh, it's not good. <laughs> we can't put all of it on the one. Why not? Come on. Uh, come on. We can do it. We what? can do it. Call of the Conclave. Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> Nickel Bolas. He's Talk fun. about a thematic hit. I'll take a thematic hit. All right. Nickel Bolas, Dragon God. Not from promo. We want from... Ravnica right. Remastered. Oh, wow, there's a lot of different versions. Holy moly. So while you're looking right for that. So it's the regular Ravnica Remastered. Ah, no! He is $4.67. All right, so it wasn't the worst thing to end on. So, all right. That is cool. Give him a little guy, because I think yeah. he, okay. he deserves a little guy. I don't know why he deserves a little guy. For me, it's like $5 and up. I want to put a little guy on him. <laughs> But again, these are all probably going to end up with, because I have such a huge amount of them now, we're probably going to put them in a binder. So, for our final tally, 
Yep. We're looking at $158.53. Okay, so I ended up positive on my money, if that gives away a little bit. Uh, but just barely, quite honestly. Um, I would not have gone out of my way to get another box. I'm probably not going to buy any more boosters for this because I'm kind of like, well. Oh, we got a whole box. <laughs> we got a whole box. Like, I'm done. This is this is good. Um, I am going to show all of our hits. We got Nico Bolas, Phytohydra, Void Slime, Shockland, which I'm going to put there to show how many Shocklands we got. That's one Shockland. We got Cranko, Protein, Nismivit, Golgari, two Shocklands, another of the same, three Pretty. Shocklands, Infernal, Quadsaplute, Priest, Vigor, Raise, Boar, Breeding Coal. That's four Shocklands. In case people are curious, Bruvac, which I love that we got that. Ghostway. Five. Five, Domri, Crypt Guest, Tracers, Tides Sprout Tyrant. We only got like three of the anime ones. Illusionist Bracers, Stitch in Time, Infernal Tutor, and Fireseek, which isn't technically a rare, but oh, it was And cool. one last one. Oh, and Karn. Karn. So that's what we got. Um, we also got these as rares, but they weren't worth much at all. So, programmers, like, all that stuff wasn't worth too, too much money. So, let us know what you think. Um, our next video um, will probably be the um, murders of Karlov Manor. I keep wanting to call it Markov Manor. But I'm like, that's not right. I would be so hyped if it was, like, a Markov okay. Manor thing. Oh, my yeah. God. I'd be freaking out. But, no, I keep wanting to call it that one. It's not that. So, we got one, two, three, four, five. That's cool. Actually, at least my temple gardens okay. are different. So the number is much less than, or at least for than us, what we maybe thought. we're, we're yeah. the unluckiest people to, to right. get the set. But I don't know. Uh, it sounds very overblown, the whole, oh, 18 to 23 shocks per people box. People were being dramatic, I think. Yeah. I don't know. But uh, honestly, we could just be unlucky as well. We don't uh, know. Let us know what your or guys are getting. they you were know? just super lucky. <laughs> yeah. Got all the rent, all the... the, the the lands so yeah uh next probably we're gonna be working on is the um the, the murders of carlo manor i am getting the clue edition as well which i will be opening and showing on here and uh let us know if you'd like to see some actual game nights with us like actually watching us play again i'm not the most riveting person to play with because i am fairly new <laughs> um but i'm vicious we I could, do have fun. We could maybe do that. We could do that. I think that'd be fun. Yeah. Especially if we only did it, like, uh, if we can get a pod, that would be cool of doing that. Maybe. I don't know. Let us know what you think, what you'd like to see. If you have any recommendations for things that we should do on the channel. Um, we like to do magic kind of content. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right. All right. Till next time. Thanks, folks. Bye. Bye. Hey, folks, real quick. Hey, I just wanted to show you my mail call that I had today. I figured it came in while we were doing the Ravnica box, so why not? Uh, I got a Runic Armasaur because we didn't have one in our collection, and it's a really cool green card draw card. I just I wanted it to have in our green collection. Uh, you know, it's cool that it's one of those things where you can invest some mana into a creature and you'll just passively maybe draw some cards. Why not? Um, the other two are actually reserveless cards that almost anybody can afford. Um, they're going for like, what, two to four bucks each, depending. Uh, Triangle of War is an old Visions card from way back in the day that for the longest time it was going for like a dollar and now it's going up to like, what, three bucks now almost, which is crazy to me. But um, yeah, it's it's a cool old reserveless card. There's only so many out there, so it's cheap. It's not the most amazing thing, but it's nifty that it could be useful in the future. You know, it's an artifact. You pay one, pay two and sack it, and then you can have two creatures fight. One creature you own and one creature you don't. So you can use it as, like, a target removal. Um, speaking of reserveless artifacts, I got Skyship Weatherlight. Uh, kind of a tutor, in a sense. You know, you pay four for this artifact, and then when it comes down you throw a bunch of artifacts and or creatures underneath it and, or underneath it as an exiled. Um, then you can pay four and tap. And then at random, one of those exiled cards gets put in your hand. So you can say maybe you're running the uh, Cascade uh, Colorless Commander or something. You could throw all 
seven, eight, nine, ten drops, you know, have three or four of those and throw it underneath it. And then you can have a way of guaranteeing that you get one of those in your hand or something. Yeah. Anyways, just wanted to share that with you folks. All right. Have a good one. Bye. Bye. <laughs>